Let's go live to ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck right at Olmerton Road and Carolyn Parkway. And uh, Sarah, you know, you're, you're hearing from employers there that it's so bad, the gridlock, that it's keeping them from hiring people. Yeah, it's really not much of an incentive to have to sit in traffic like you see right here. The real problem, too, is that these lights, they take a very long time to turn from red to green, and that means that thousands of hardworking people are forced to sit here, and that is causing employers to think twice about adding more jobs. Every morning, bumper to bumper, and every afternoon, it's just insane. Cars back up for blocks and the entrances and exits to Carillon Business Park. There's no room for anybody to go anywhere. It's the biggest employment area in St. Pete, but working for some of the area's largest companies has a price. That's the only thing that I um, don't like about my job is the drive. The problem, there are only a handful of ways in and out of the business park, and everyone starts and finishes work around the same time. And I spend probably 30 minutes to get 10 minutes worth of distance. Raymond James Financial even gave the city a huge incentive, fix the roads in and around Carillon, and will add 650 jobs. That was enough to spur St. Pete leaders into action. Coming soon, more turn lanes at four different intersections and widen roads in and around Carillon. City leaders say with this project, plus the work being done on Olmerton and Roosevelt, it should cut your commute time in half. That would be awesome. It would be amazing. Allowing the thousands of people who work here and drive through the gateway area more flexibility. It would be nice if we could get home sooner than later. To get back to worrying about more important things. What's for dinner? <laughs> City Council leaders are expected to give the green light to this project tomorrow, bringing a lot of much needed relief for all the drivers in this area. Reporting live in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.